are back uh, to start the uh, process on the on the Busa. Uh, previous video brought it here to gym shop and then uh, installed the injectors. Now we're gonna do the um, Power Commander, uh, remove all the old um, Microtech stuff, and then try to get this uh, fuel line uh, cut in rerouted and all that stuff so that's what the plan is I only got a few hours so Jimbo Hello. howdy hey Roxanne let me put this stuff up here oh I forgot my book look at that we used to have one of these at my dad's house I can't use this but I like looking at stuff like this I like learning you know all right, got the, uh, where is it at? This here is a Microtech. And I had it in the back, you know, in the tail there. So now I'm just, unplugged the, uh, secondary injectors, unplugged them. Now I just gotta trace this damn wire where the power source was and take it out completely. And then uh, wire up the, uh, the Power Commander 3. I'm sorry, the Power Commander PTI. And then, and then, and then go from there. Anyway, all right, the Microtech module and harness is now removed. This is, this is it here. Let's see where the injector, secondary injectors right there plug there battery oh that's ready to go someone will be able to use it maybe maybe not i'll just oh it's up close just sit up somewhere for jim he might need to use it on another bike maybe but it is old technology and uh it's kind of like out yeah it's outdated so I mean, it could work if you got the right software, but if not, just go with that power commander, you dig? So, uh, let's get this power commander wired up, and then, uh, we'll see what's next. Ew. <laughs> if you need a tire mounted, Jim does it all. He does that, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only, only for a select few, believe me, because it's a freaking pain in the ass. Yeah. You do it for really close friends. All right, so I ran into a little problem. Not a big problem. Just gonna be a little delay. So, <coughs> Roxanne is a 99 Gen 1 Busa. 99 through 2001. Had the uh, external fuel pump. And then 2002 through 2007 had the uh, internal fuel pump. So the harness are different for the fuel injectors. So this is for the external fuel pump, you can see there. And the internal, where's that harness at, Jim? I wanna show the people the difference. It's uh, up by that uh, white bottle. And by the white bottle. And this, this is for the internal fuel pump. And as you can see, that is what the power commander runs on. See that? This won't work. So, he has another harness at the house. What we'll do is uh, we'll just repin it. We'll just repin it to work. Well, actually, he already has one done. So, we'll just, uh, yeah, change a couple wires. And then we'll be good to go. But that might be the end of my day today. Or, <laughs> or I can reroute these damn fuel lines. <laughs> we'll stay productive. All right, I just took the uh, ECU out. Jim's about to put a uh, map in for a uh, startup tune. 1000 cc injector uh, so we can fire up and not foul any plugs he knows a guy that has a thousand cc uh 
Busa and some other stuff is, yeah. Not the same tune, but it'll be a good startup tune, so I don't like foul any spark plugs and stuff. So that's what he's about to do. And uh, yeah, then we'll, then we'll get it going. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But look at her. She's looking good just sitting up there on the stand. Huh? Ooh -wee. All right. So, Kyle Commander is, I guess, somewhat mounted. But I got my map switch here. The map switch on there. So now that's wired up. It's all wired up. Into the power commander. Let me sit down. So, all that's left to do is uh, change this harness around for the uh, fuel injection, and then uh, we'll be ready to to uh, fire it up and start tuning. I noticed a while back that my fifth gear was slipping, so might need to change the clutch. But we might try to run it first. I'm not sure. First run to be on gas because it's still a little gas in this tank here. But yeah, so maybe I guess within the next couple days we'll get the uh, get that harness. I'm sorry, get that harness done, and then uh, yeah, then we'll start getting some things uh, done as far as tuning. I got my little makeshift, uh, my little makeshift uh, uh, methanol kit here. Since I'm running the 85 now, that can go away. Make some more space under this tail. So, yep, more to come. But I'm out in this video. Wait a minute. No, I'm not going in this video. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Am I? Maybe I want to see some bikes real quick. Let's look at some bikes. This is his drag bike he's working on. That's getting the nitrous set up. So that's about to be on nitrous. Boom. This is uh this is the what bike is this? I think this is the Yeah, this is the uh Turbo Booster, the six hundred horsepower one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is his fourteen forty one booster. Running off methanol. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Dave's Damon. Dave Damon's bike. Y'all have to go back to some videos and see what that is. Pretty cool dude. Dave is hilarious. This is his turbo booster. Had some issues with water in the uh, in the oil. He figured out it was a uh, freeze plug in the head that was leaking. So fixed that. Now he's putting that back together. But now I'm leaving. So holla at you in a minute. Peace.